Hey guys, and today I just wanted to give you my first impressions of the Motorola Zoom. Now, I, I want to give full disclosure, obviously I haven't used this device, uh, no one has really, it was a device that was showcased at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas a few weeks ago, and uh, yeah, what it is, is a tablet device from Motorola running Android. Now, it's interesting. It's interesting for a couple of <coughs> couple of reasons. One, it um, offers great specifications, but two, this is the one I'm going to talk about. It runs the new tabletized version of Android, otherwise known as Android uh, 3.0 Honeycomb. This this looks like a great user interface. Has has loads of p potential for multitasking and kind of larger scale widgets that Android doesn't have um, it, it reminded me more of like a desktop a desktop UI which is what you want on a tablet you want more than you get <coughs> you get on a phone I think one of the main that's one of the main problems with the Samsung Galaxy Tab it runs Android 2.2 but yeah you've still got a, f <coughs> a phone interface not a tablet interface because obviously it's Android 2.2, not 2.3 gingerbread. So the Motorola Zoom comes stock with 2.3 gingerbread, Nvidia's Tegra 2 dual core processor, a gigabyte of RAM, <coughs> front and rear cameras, and just a, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So I'll be really excited to um, get my hands on it. A white. A white a Wi-Fi version has not been announced. The only version that's been announced is a 3G version, the CDMA for Verizon, Verizon Wireless, which means it might be quite a while until I get my hands on it because there isn't any CDMA carriers here in the UK. Um, they all work on it on a GSM SIM card basis. So. That's my thoughts on the Motorola Zoom Android Honeycomb is really what's going to make it or break it. They um, kind of wanted to stress that what Google showed at a CES for Android 3.0 Honeycomb is is not final software but it still looked really really good from what I saw anyway. Um, this kind of brings up an interesting question now because Android 3.0 uh, Honeycomb, like I was saying, is very clearly established itself as a tablet operating system. Now, this brings up an interesting question about what the next phone operating system is going to be. Will there, will there be dual kernels, one for the phone operating system and one for the tablet operating system in the same operating system? So, um, will that mean that phones will also get Android 3.0 or will phones have to wait to Android uh, 3.1 to get any any honey honeycomb action and if phones have to wait to Android 3.1 then that brings up a question about um what 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 how the relay how the relay cycle for tablets will um will go ahead again I think it's um, going to be really interesting to watch this Android evolution of the tablet operating system now that we've in fact seen um, Android 3.0 so what did you guys think of Android 3.0 did you see any videos of it any videos from CS like I did with this point the act a few minutes ago I'm interested to hear what you think. What do you think about the release cycle and how that's gonna play in with friends? Um I'm just kinda of interested to hear what you guys have to say. You can comment down below down there. Um my website is also down there where it should be when I've edited this video. That's ww.tom.com or at least tom.com we've got a whole bunch of exciting content over there if you want to check it out so thanks for watching this video 
subscribe if you liked it. And thanks again.